What's up, family? Spencer Mack here, back on the topic, remineralization. One of the most profoundly mineral-dense substances on the planet is what in Ayurveda they call Shilajit, the destroyer of weakness. Pretty dope name, huh? It's actually the number one herb out of all of Ayurveda. They use it in traditional Chinese medicine as well. The Russians have their version. There are many different cultures that utilize what is ultimately mineral pitch, ancient earth. Now the story we have for how this stuff was created is basically there was an entire ecosystem, a living uh, jungle, you could say. And when the two tectonic plates came together that formed the Himalayas, this environment, this ecosystem was buried underneath them for millions of years and broken down gradually over time by microbes, heat, pressure. And after millions of years, it comes up through the cracks of the mountain. It's like mountain blood. It's this black tar-like substance. Now there are many different sources of it from around the world. And it's utilized not just as a nutritional supplement under the name of Shilajit, but also as an amendment to soil for farmers to amplify their production. What this does for plants and for humans is it makes the nutrition in the environment more available. It actually helps to bring nutrients into the body. It helps to cultivate the bacteria in the soil, in the gut, in order to become more efficient at utilizing the food in the environment. This literally helps you to eat less and get more out of it. They find when they use this in animal agriculture, they have to they get more growth out of less food, more production out of less food. You become more efficient as an animal on this planet, less waste. You have a higher rate of nitrogen retention, meaning that you use the proteins in your food in your body more efficiently. So, when it comes to finding a human grade, human or a food grade humate, humate is a activated form of humus or humic acid. And they do that by oxidizing it. Now very old, um, very old stores of this in the planet are naturally oxidized over millions of years. They gradually oxidize. If they are not though, the nutrition is somewhat uh, kept up, locked up. Now the fascinating thing about this stuff, as I said, this is basically an entire ecosystem that's been broken down and organized into an extremely complex structure. Although it's very highly soluble in water, it is a very long compound. There's something like 70 or 80 carbons long on this thing. It's got amino acids, full spectrum of minerals, um, and humic and fulvic. Is, that's basically what they're composed of, is amino acids and minerals. Uh, along with that, there's all sorts of other compounds generated by the plants that once grew. So. I've been taking this stuff and adding it to my water, about one gram per liter. Um, I'll share with you guys a source down below. I'm working on finding uh, even better sources, trying different sources, but this is the purest that I've been able to find so far. I've tried dozens of different brands of Shilajit over the last 15 years, um, and this is by far my favorite. Um, it's 100% water soluble, and not quite as intense of a taste as some shilajit. It's like gunpowder, a lot of shilajit. Um, so the fascinating thing about this is its ability to regenerate the microbiome, to be able to heal your gut lining. Now, they use it actually to boost the immune system, to fight infections, to fight uh, parasites and pathogens in livestock. This makes not only the animal stronger through receiving more nutrition, but it bolsters their immune system and ultimately makes them less prone to illness. So 
boosting the immune system, full spectrum mineral supplement, regenerating your gut microbiome, boosting the absorption of all of the nutrients in your diet. It's, it's fascinating and it helps shuttle nutrients into your cells, not just through your intestinal lining, but into your cells. It's an extremely potent antioxidant. It's been proven very valuable um, being used against certain viruses. Profound substance. So, Another vital point on it I wanted to make is that it has been demonstrated to accelerate the detoxification of glyphosate, one of the most rampantly destructive <sighs> mistakes that man has made. The primary chemical from Roundup, the pesticide, is everywhere in our environment. It's all pervasive and it literally destroys your gut barrier function. So many people dealing with digestive issues currently who just are so sensitive to all these different foods could really benefit from supplementing Humate. It helps to regenerate the gut lining and also chelates to not only to heavy metals, but helps detox glyphosate itself. Fascinating stuff. Needless to say, this has been um, a point of a lot of my research recently, and I've been adding it into my tonic, my water that I put sea salt and deep ocean minerals in, both of which I'm going to talk about in upcoming videos. But that's the main idea. Find a solid source. Um, be careful what they extract or oxidize it with. Make sure it's as pure as possible. It has all of the the, um, the SDS or the uh, proof of chemical analysis with it. And if you know you have a safe powder, it really is very low on the toxicity scale. Something like two grams per kilogram um, is when you start to reach toxic levels. That's like 140 grams. I'm taking three to four a day. And I've definitely noticed how it has morphed my gut. And the first three days or so were the most noticeable. And perhaps this is why I have a much easier time consuming carbohydrates recently. Could this have helped me out before when I was doing the Amen protocol and trying to eat an entire day's worth of food in one meal? Or trying to maintain a vegan lifestyle, would this have helped boost my absorption? Potentially this could help aid the microbiome, the bacteria in your gut that produce those B vitamins, the, the K vitamins, all of the above, those vital nutrients that our microbiome produces. Um, potentially. Either way, I'm definitely adding it to the protocol now and I'm enjoying it thoroughly. So if you guys have any experience with Shilajit, if this brought up any questions, um, and wherever the interest lies, as always, please let me know. Love continuing the conversation, cultivating the most vital state of health we can possibly cultivate. Awesome, guys. Lots of love and appreciation. See you all in the next one. Peace.